శ్రీపాద శ్రీ వల్లభ చరితామృతం చాప్టర్ థర్టీ త్రీ శ్రీ శ్రీపాద పర్సనలీ పర్ఫార్మ్డ్ ద వెడ్డింగ్ ఆఫ్ రమణి అండ్ నరసింహరాయుడు ఐ టుక్ ద పర్మిషన్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ శ్రీపాద శ్రీ శ్రీపాద ఇన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ అస్ మై డియర్ చిల్డ్రన్ యూ గో ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ టు శ్రీ పితికాపురం మై ఆస్పీషియస్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ విల్ బీ విత్ యూ యాజ్ అన్ అకాంపెనింగ్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఇన్ కాంప్లియన్స్ విత్ ది కమాండ్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ మహాగురు మై సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ శ్రీ ధర్మగుప్త రీచర్ ది బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ ది రివర్ కృష్ణ ఆన్ ది అదర్ సైడ్ వి సా ద ఫుట్ ప్రింట్స్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ చరణ్ ఆన్ ఎ రాక్ శ్రీ శ్రీపాద యూజ్డ్ టు స్టాండ్ ఆన్ దిస్ రాక్ అండ్ ఆఫర్ సూర్య నమస్కార ఆఫర్ సూర్య నమస్కార ఒబైసన్స్ టు లార్డ్ సన్ వీ ఫెల్ట్ వండర్ అండ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఆన్ సీయింగ్ ఫుట్ ప్రింట్స్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ చరణ ఆన్ దట్ రాక్ వీ రీచ్డ్ పంచదేవ ప్రహాద్ విలేజ్ వీ వర్ ఫాలోయింగ్ ఎ ఫుట్ పాత్ formed in a jowar field the owner of that field cordially invited us he opened sweet fruits to eat and gave sweet buttermilk to drink the name of that cultivator was narsimha rayudu he built a house in his field he requested us to rest in his house and accept his cordiality we agreed it he was describing the glory of sportive place of sri charana he narrated sir My name is Narasimha Rayudu. I was very weak and timid in my childhood. I lost my parents during my childhood. I was brought up in my maternal uncle's house. My aunt was very termagnant. I had to do lot of manual labor in their house. There was much work in the farm. My uncle had a daughter named Ramani. She was beautiful than all the girls in the houses of our relations in that town. Besides that, she was a mass of all good qualities. She was having devotion to God. she used to worship shri krishna as her chosen deity she could not tolerate when my aunt was provoking me stale was providing me stale food for me food was too little and courteous treatment was ill nil work was work and stress were more our so our ramani used to offer me sweet fruits and warm food without being seen by her mother if my aunt were to see it ramani along with me was also getting blows and rebukes from her even though my uncle was good he was an incompetent one who could not protest to his wife sometimes my maternal aunt used to get me beaten by strong young men belonging to other families of kapu caste actually i was weak by by these blows i became much more weak i was also very timid therefore the neighbors also used to look at me as an incapable fellow i became subordinate even to those who were younger to me as our ramani was very beautiful the kapu youths in our town were having an intense desire to marry her i was not having any property or cash my body was very weak above all i was timid my uncle was wealthy and has property though good natured he was greedy my maternal aunt though a shrew was easily deceived being inflated under the influence of flattery our ramani was praying to lord sri krishna that i should be her husband under any circumstances in the main well a fraudulent sanyasi came to our town a powerful propaganda was carried on that he worships mother kali and protects and predicts about past future and present in fact he was having such some powers his forecasts to the citizens were proving to be cent percent true he brought our aunt under his undue influence through his deceitful words arrangements were made for him to conduct a worship of kali in our house he told that the clay idol of krishna worshipped by our ramani daily should be thrown out of the house my maternal aunt agreed our ramani wept bitterly but in vain that fake sanyasi began the worship many fowls were sacrificed the room of worship was all drenched with blood and presented a horrible appearance some human skulls and some more strange articles for the worship at burial grounds were kept in the house he made all the inmates believe that after the conclusion of worship rich hidden treasures would be uncovered and with that the whole the whole family becomes rich this fraudulent sanyasi also knew the art of inveigling by charms he hatched a plot to rob the chastity of ramani with that art due to the weird methods of worship performed by him the wealth of the health of our ramani deteriorated she was behaving in a queer way she was not her former self she used to drink blood at night death blood at dead at night she was only drinking blood instead of food the fake sanyasi was 
convincingly telling them that mother kali entered into her and for that reason she was drinking blood and that she would become a normal person at the exit of mother kali and unless blood oblation was offered kali would not be pacified and the hidden treasures would not be available in this way everything was very horrid the food receptacles were suddenly falling into the well human skeletons were seen in the house here and there at midnight strange figures appeared making terrific sounds all other house all our houses looked like a burial ground our maternal uncle was not bold enough to talk to ask the fraudulent ascetic to leave the house our maternal aunt was hoping to get hidden treasures if the troubles were endured for few days the whole situation was very confusing and perplexing during one night that fake sanyasi reached out to ramani he felt that his desire would be satisfied as he yielded to the influence of his magical charm when he came near her our ramani cried aloud and in a frightening manner hit on his head with an iron article she did not know why she acted like that the fraudulent ascetic also did not understand why the person under his control behaved so suddenly in such a fashion the dedicated nature of sri sri pada in rescuing the distressed after daybreak a poor brahmin beggar came to our house our ramani came out came out of the house and told him that there was a large number of ghosts spirits and devils that and that he may receive them as alms if he was so willing that brahmin agreed for that his bloomy face was placid and brilliant in the meantime our maternal uncle came out he also said the conditions in our house are in a pelmel state if you want you can receive those evil forces creating those circumstances as gift my maternal aunt also joined then she said there is nothing in our house if you want you can accept the poverty in our house i was also present in the house i told swami there is a silver talisman with me coming from the time of my forefathers if you are willing you can accept it he agreed and i gave the silver talisman as bhiksha in the meanwhile the bogus ascetic brought some human skulls from the burial ground he jeeringly said you poor brahmin if you want you can take this human skulls as bhiksha he accepted suddenly a divine effulgence appeared in our house that brahmin visitor disappeared due to the divine effulgence that fraudulent ascetic experienced burning sensation all over the body a ray from that effulgence entered into our ramani she became healthy my maternal aunt had an attack of paralysis and she lost her speech my maternal uncle developed violent shivering i received extreme courage i felt as if some new strength entered into my body and i felt that i was very strong blood streamed out of the mouth of the magician and all his faculties were lost the divine effulgences were wore human form that divine glorious forms belonged to the refuge of all the distressed and embodiment of all gods and goddesses the one without beginning middle or end sri sri pad sri vallabha sri charan said like this in reality mother kali destroys the demonical forces like lust anger etc hidden in the seeker but she does not want fowls goats goats and others demonical forces of the panamaya jagat pranamaya jagat world of life forces assumes the form of kalika and demand various types of sacrifices real kalika mata possesses auspicious qualities like love peace and compassion devilish forces ghosts spirits etc and demonical forces in the pranamaya jagat style themselves as particular deities and exhibit evil arts evil magicians worship them and cause untold harm to the world note that the mains of ghosts in the pranamaya jagat also have the capacity to assume the form of deities but the divine powers will not exist in such divine forms an assurance was given that i will incarnate whenever dharma touches bottom most level this incarnation of sri pad sri vallabha came in consonance with that assurance this incarnation is invested with infinite potencies potencies like love peace mercy and compassion our house was completely cleansed the bogus sanyasi was driven out from the grace of sri charan the paralysis of our maternal aunt abated sri sri pada personally blessed with his own hands and conducted my marriage with ramani then his age actually was 12 years old he was in pitikapuram at that time he was in this panchadeva pahad with his subtle sportive body these were the blessed akshintalu turmeric rice he granted us that day 
He instructed us that Dharma Gupta and Shankar Bhatt would visit this place in future, and some of those blessed turmeric rice should be given to them. Oh, what a great, sportive, playful incarnation! Victory, victory unto Sri Sri Pada, Sri Vallabha. Chapter thirty-three completed.